When they come to a pole that has an alley arm mounted on it, they have to modify the procedure slightly. After the crew covers the energized conductors, they place a hot arm on the end of the alley arm. Then, they untie the phases and move the two outside conductors to the end of the alley arm onto the hot arm. The crew must ensure that there is enough clearance to move the two outside conductors onto this hot arm. Your situation may dictate a change in this type of procedure. On this side of the pole, a special type of hot arm with a pole strap will be attached directly to the pole. This type of hot arm will allow the conductor closest to the pole to be moved over the pole and place it into the wire clamp attached to the hot arm. Then, line workers install the stringing dollies and the pilot lines. On most reconductoring jobs, temporary grounding attachments may also be required. Next, the crew moves to the main feeder pole. After making the work area safe by covering all energized conductors, the line worker slides the hot arm over the end of the cross arm and tightens the clamp. Then, they will install temporary jumpers since the permanent jumpers connecting the line to the main feeder are not long enough to allow the line workers to move the conductors over the main feeder jumpers. Using temporary jumpers also allows for additional clearance since they can be connected farther out in the main line than permanent jumpers. Here, the line workers use pigtail jumpers that consist of wire that is rolled into a coil and has a connector on each end. It's easier to control than a straight piece of wire of equal length, and it can be stretched as necessary. The line worker installs the pigtail jumper by connecting it in parallel with the primary lead. The original primary lead is then disconnected from the line. As each temporary jumper is connected in place, the line workers roll up and secure the permanent jumper. After the permanent jumpers have been secured, the line workers safely untie the old conductors and move them onto the temporary arms and secure the line. Next, the line workers attach the stringing dollies to the arm and secure them properly. The pilot lines are then installed so that they do not interfere with the existing energized phases. The crew continues working down the line until they reach the other dead end. Here, the conductors are attached to a set of insulated dead end arms.